Hello everyone, I'm David Hunter and this is an update about my CNC aluminium lips for airsoft gas blowback guns. I'm making this video as a follow-up of my previous one plus some teaser I published on some Facebook pages. My intention was to, to use my vacation on August to continue testing the lips on my guns and to produce a really first serial batch, but a family issue has kept me away from my workshop all the month so everything has been delayed and my free time is really constrained right now. I have asked for volunteers for testing the lips on other guns than mine, so the response has been awesome, thank you all. I will start writing them uh, just once uh, this video is uploaded. Right now I have five lip models, two are for the GHK M4 version 1 magazine, Another two are for the GHK M4 version 2 magazine, one of them is compatible with the GMAX, and the last one is for the GHK AKM, the GKM. And I have a sixth one I just machined this week, this is for the WE MP5 and it's going into testing phase. I want to explain the different version of the GHK M4 lips because there is certainly some confusion. Most people know that there are two versions of the GHK Stenag or NATO magazines, but they are really three. The first version can be distinguished because the lip fills the wall top of the mag, the cell is rough and they have a pin crossing the body near the magazine catch hole. Internally they are made of a main body with a couple of thread aluminium tubes on the gas version like this one I have. On the CO2 version one of the tubes is aluminium and the other tube is uh, made of steel. For this magazine I have created uh, two different versions. The A version is a direct replacement for the original plastic lip uh, if the magazine has no damage at all. But on these magazines it's pretty easy to break this little tab on the BB track just while manipulating uh, for maintenance or, or so uh, that happens on, on this magazine if this tab breaks uh, the BBs get stuck on, on this space and, and they don't go all the way up so the mag is unuseful so I have created the B version that has a protruding area specifically designed to, to replace uh, this tab uh, so the BBs can go all the way up. The version 2 magazines can be easily distinguished because the lips are smaller, filling just half of the top of the mat. The cell is smooth and you can see the internal body on the top plus some reinforcement for the magazine catch in the side. But there are two types of version 2 magazines, this is the second version, and this has caused some confusion. On the first version, the area of the internal body that protrudes on the top, uh, reaching the front of the magazine, uh, will use this version 2A lip. Uh, it does not have lateral ears, like on the one we'll, we will see next. After that, uh, GHK made another magazine, and I will bet that in order to maintain compatibility with the GMAC, they changed the design. Uh, on this version, the body does not reach the front of the mag in the top. The lips have a couple of lateral ears that uh, supplement uh, in this area. As you can see, this one is the modern version of the version 2 magazines and therefore you, it used the version 2B lips. We can see that the B is exactly like the version A but the lateral ears. Uh, this version B is compatible with uh, the GMAX. Moving out of the M4 platforms we have here the lips for the GHK AKM. It's only compatible with the still 762mm mat, but uh, don't worry, I will make uh, for the AK-74 on the near future. Also we have here my most recent model, it's for the WE MP5, and I hope uh, to start testing this one on the next week.
In all the lips I have implemented some improvements over the original design, always looking for making the best model in terms of strength and performance. For example, the M4 version 1B is specifically designed to eliminate the stack BB's problems. The same happened on the AKM, the original lip uh, likes to get the BB stuck here sometimes and you need to press them down like you see on the on this one you need to press them to get uh, to the top uh, and on my model I have uh, improved the entry so this doesn't doesn't happen again there are uh, some concerns about the lips being aluminium that could damage uh, the BBs or the Young nozzle. The lips being made of a uh, stronger material, they are narrower so they don't rub on the bolt carrier like happened with this original plastic uh, one. About damaging the, the BBs, it has been one of my biggest focus while developing these lips. So the BBs uh, can have a very smooth entry uh, and exit. Other major brands like GMP and KWA make uh, metal lips without any problem. I use a special lens mill to machine the path the BB will, will follow. In fact, uh, hey, they are so free that uh, you need to have some care not to grab the Mac uh, by the top or of the BB so they, you can unload the Mac in, in a fraction of a second. In fact, my biggest concern right now uh, is that the BBs go with the right amount of, of force. And on the next videos, I hope to show how the lips perform on my guns, uh, plus some videos on how to install the, the lips. The next model for the near future will be the WE M14 and the Tokyo Marui M4 MWS. So if you are interested in knowing more, Feel free to subscribe uh, so you don't miss any updates. Also, if you are interested in any of these models, I will leave my email in the description of the video. I hope to slowly increase the catalog. I've been asked uh, about other models like the GHK AUG and the KGW KC02. So if you are interested in other models, you can tell me and I will be getting them according to people interest. Hope you all like them and feel free to share the video with your teammates and another airsoft social media. Thank you all for watching and bye!